So here's an up close look at my V9958 video card. Um, over here is the video processor itself. Um, up here is 128 kilobytes of DRAM. Um, this is the address decoding and weight state circuitry over here. Here is a Sony video encoder over here. Um, this converts the video signal coming out of this chip into S-Video and composite. Um, the VGA doesn't work, but it does have S-Video and composite video output that does at least work. Um, one thing I forgot to do on this version of the video card is I didn't get um, like gold-plated connectors, so this is just lead. It'll wear out eventually, but it seems to be good enough for now. So I actually did end up getting the video card to work on my 486 computer. Getting it to work involved a little bit of FPGA magic and some good old fashioned ugly hacks. It's buggy and it runs like crap, but the fact that this is running at all on a 25 MHz 486 is an achievement in and of itself. This chip was only ever used in the MSX 8-bit computer and it was never really intended to be used with a microprocessor faster than about 7 MHz. You can't really see it that well, but that is a 25 megahertz crystal. I got this thing to run at 25 megahertz. So in order to avoid writing an entire new kernel from scratch, I made a V9958 driver for real mode OS, which is a x86 kernel system thingy that I made. Here is real mode OS running on the system. It's got the V9958 driver loaded. Um, it does everything just exactly the same as when it's running on a regular v uh, VGA card. Um, it's just that this is on V9958. It's pretty slow. I also made a G4 test so I can test the graphics G4 mode. There, it drew one line and two sprites to the screen. So it's good to know that G4 mode can work on this. Oh yeah, the text is blue now. This whole video card really doesn't work well enough for me to make any demonstrations more complicated than that. Um, maybe someday I'll fix it, but I'm probably just going to make a better video card instead. Now, you may be wondering, is it a good idea to build a video card this way? Absolutely not. While the V9958 is better than, say, a TMS9918, it's still an absolute piece of crap. Even Ben Eater's World's Worst Video Card isn't even that much worse. The biggest issue with the World's Worst Video Card is the 71% performance penalty caused by the fact that the CPU and the video memory use the same bus and the same memory chip. It's not that hard to come up with ways of getting around this issue, especially if you're using an FPGA. Even the 100 pixel by 75 pixel screen resolution can be improved with some basic math and a different oscillator. Meanwhile, there is absolutely nothing you can do about the annoying aspects of the V9958 or really any retro 8-bit era video chip. There is nothing you can do to improve the 512 by 212 pixel resolution, the lack of text colors in text 2 mode, or the lack of a standard VGA output. Figuring out how to make this thing work on a PCB was not worth the effort. Even if you don't like FPGAs, and your alternative is to build a homemade VGA thing out of 74 LS series chips, you should still do that instead. So that's all I have for today. If you would like to help support future development, consider buying me a coffee. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.